Consider the Phillips curve, our inflation equal to expected inflation minus epsilon, because we have a negative relationship between unemployment and inflation, multiplied by our unemployment minus natural rate of unemployment, which is Y star, where epsilon is equal to 1.2, and Y U star, which is our natural rate of unemployment, is 5%, and expected inflation at time T is equal to 8%, suppose that U0 is equal to U star. The first part of the question, suppose that policymakers wish to lower unemployment. They are willing to increase inflation to 10% for years two. What unemployment rate would result from the inflation target? Therefore, we have our formula, which we, it was mentioned in the question. So what we need to do is I need to put UT in one side, all other variables in the other side. So I will subtract expected inflation from both sides. So I will take this one, put it the other side, and then I need to divide by negative epsilon. So it will be like this. And then what I need to do is I need to get negative u star, put it the other side, but I will put it with a positive sign. So it will be like this one. So this will be the formula of our unemployment. So let's substitute. So our unemployment will be equals our inflation is 10% minus, it was given in the question here, minus our expected inflation, which is 8%, divided by negative epsilon, which is 1.2, plus natural rate of unemployment, which is 5%. This will give us 3.33%. Consequently, when we increase inflation, in the short run, our unemployment will decrease to 3.33%. The next part of the question. Suppose that the public has fixed expectation and that policymakers continue to target inflation rate equal to 10%. Determine the implied rate of unemployment in years T1 plus 2 and T plus 3. So I know that the unemployment rate in T plus 1, T plus 2, T plus 3 will be the same. Why? Because it was mentioned that they have fixed expectation. They don't change their expectation. Consequently, unemployment rate will remain constant at 3.33%. The next part of the question. Explain why this expectation formula is unlikely to remain true. Because we mentioned that we have fixed expectation. It means that people don't change their expectation. But the officials cannot fool the public all the time. Therefore, at a certain stage, we tell them that, that we have a high inflation, this would result in low unemployment. If we talk about high inflation and we tell them actually inflation rate is not high, people will not believe it for a long time. Why? Because once they go to the supermarket, they discover that prices are higher. So we'll say, how comes the official say that we have a low inflation rate, but when I do my shopping, every time I pay higher prices, higher prices, higher prices. And that's why you can fool them on the short term, but not for a long period of time. The next part of the question is, suppose that in year T plus 4, public switches to employ simple adaptive expectation. So now people will start to adapt based on the actual information. Policy makers maintain the new lower unemployment rate. What inflation targets do they need to set for years T plus 4, T plus 5, and T plus 6? So we will have our formula, which was given in the question. So I'll say that our inflation at T plus 4 is equal to our expected inflation minus epsilon multiplied by open bracket unemployment rate minus natural rate of unemployment. So I know that our inflation at T plus 4 will be our inflation rate, which was given before 10%, and minus epsilon 1.2 multiplied by unemployment rate, which we calculated earlier, 3.33%, minus natural rate of unemployment, it will be 5%. So this will give us 12%. So in the next period, the inflation at T plus 1, I will take this 12% and it will be my inflation. That's why we apply simple adaptive, they keep updating their expectations. So if you substitute with 12 in this formula, it will give you 14%. Then in the next period, which is T plus 6, this 14% will be here. Therefore, it will give us 16%. Therefore, in order to maintain a low unemployment rate at 3.33%, this would result in a higher inflation for a period after another moving from 10% to 12% to 14% to 16%. The next part of the question, is it possible for the policymakers to sustain low unemployment along with a 10% inflation rate? The answer is definitely not. Why? Because we said, if we'd like to maintain a low inflation rate, as what we explained in the previous point, we discovered that our inflation rate keeps increasing and increasing, increasing, moving from 10% to 12% to 14%, and it will keep increasing. And that's why we cannot maintain a low unemployment rate of 3.33% at inflation rate equal to 10%.